is uh, Dennis, Dennis cues up his slides. I'll uh, mention that Dennis Petrovich is uh, one of the co-founders of Fibre back in 2018. Uh, and he's the CEO and founder of, of BlockSquare, in fact. Uh, so Dennis Petrovich, if you're ready, uh, you can have the microphone, the lectern, and the podium. It's all yours. All right, thank you. Thank you, John. Do you guys hear me? Yes. So hi to everyone. Uh, really cool to be here, um, seeing this event happen. And basically, I see a lot of people from the industry kind of joining up. Um, uh, kind of, uh, we all here for the same uh, reasons, I would say. Um, so today, I want to present you um, something new that we've been doing for the past 12 months, uh, and we launched earlier this year. Um, but before um, I dig into it, um, I wanted to just kind of give an overview of what BlockSquare is. Uh, it's a company we established in 2018, three co-founders. Um, we come from, from Europe, from Slovenia, um, so uh, south of Austria, uh, east of, uh, of, of Italy. Uh, uh, and um, we come, our backgrounds are basically um, tech development, uh, legal uh, uh, work in, in fintech and entrepreneurship um, and business uh, development. Um, so at that moment, what we did is we found uh, an opportunity on the market that's very huge, uh, tokenization of real estate. Uh, I think we were one of the first companies to actually execute a token sale of a tokenized real estate asset that was like a, a single parking space in back in 2018. Uh, we sold those tokens to about 18 individual investors. It was a very small deal, but we wanted to make it happen. Um, and today we have this infrastructure that we've built on Ethereum layer one. Uh, it's composed out of eight smart contracts that make the tokenization of real estate not only compliant, um, but as well, very, very affordable. So today, I think we brought down the sheer cost of tokenizing a real estate asset to something like 500 bucks. And that includes the, not just the technical part, but as well, the legal part of transferring economic rights onto a digital token. And I think this opens up a whole new uh, area of opportunities for anybody to run a marketplace. So what we offer as well is a white label marketplace. We put a big emphasis on the end user experience there. So it's like going on Coinbase, uh, but with you know, all the Web3 connectivity um, and self-custody. Um, it has peer-to-peer uh, -peer tradability integrated in it. Um, you can distribute dividends no matter of the secondary market activities. So there's no cut of dates. So a lot of features that are required besides the usual suspects like KYC, uh, user onboarding um, and, and stuff like that. And the infrastructure in the back kind of ensures that the tokens are only held by the people that, that by the users that you have identified as, uh, you know, uh, as uh, uh, providing sufficient information for you to, uh, to safely operate uh, a marketplace yourself. Um, this is basically, um, uh, us, uh, the company, uh, we also won an award in Souk back in, back in 2019. Uh, it was, we were that close of closing up and then this kind of just pushed us back on. Um, and, you know, real estate tokenization, everybody in the space is kind of thinking it's going to grow fa faster than, 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 than happens. Why? Because we have all of this regulation around us, etc. So, um, 12 months ago, uh, we, started, we finished up studying uh, the DeFi ecosystem and we saw you know, a big opportunity and we wanted to make it very, very simple for anybody to engage in the tokenization of real estate and have something tangible from it. So what we started is Ocean Point. And the value proposition as of now essentially is we tokenize your real estate asset you can then use 10% of its value to stake it and you can earn crypto on the side. There's no economic uh, uh, input that you need to put there. We're using this, why? Uh, because we're migrating real estate, real world value that derives from real estate assets on chain. And we think that brings a lot of value uh, to Blocksquare as an infrastructure. 
Um, if we look at like zoom out, zooming out, uh, what we discovered uh, back in 2018, 19, when we were doing the, the, the basic research is that there's a large sum invested every year uh, into real estate, especially here we're looking at commercial real estate, but most of that capital goes just in about 50 or 60 cities worldwide. So there's a vast majority of, of areas that don't have the same tools to finance real estate infrastructure, um, you know, and that can, can be as well social housing, housing. So different types of, uh, of development that would keep the younger generations living there. And with the COVID situation, I think we've proven that we can work, live and work uh, in rural areas or less crowded uh, urban areas um, and still work for a prosperous organization. But what we need is financing so that the young generations uh, hasn't, uh, have, doesn't have the incentive to move to London or New York. Anyway, the problem we're solving um, is how to launch a marketplace. So I think we're kind of like a one-stop one shop for anybody who wants to launch their own marketplace. Um, there's a couple of things that make it hard. Um, I think one of the things you cannot avoid by building your own is building something for 12, maybe even 24 yeah. months. And if you have an, a stellar team as a development team, you're not going to, do, going to do it faster. You're not going to get to production faster, no way. Um, and then in the end, the question is, do you get the right, the thing you were after? Um, and with Ocean Point, the problem we are kind of attacking is, you know, the Web3 ecosystem, or I would say the DeFi ecosystem. It just doesn't have exposure to real estate assets. And even when we are talking about tokenization of real estate in terms of uh, issuing um, tokenized equities, that's still nothing for Web3. Why? Because those, uh, those tokens have this transferability limitations, this regulation behind that it just not make, doesn't make them compatible with, with the Web3 promise of you know, openness. So what we are doing with Ocean Point, we're creating a layer where the actual uh, real estate assets value can touch DeFi. And so far we have tokenized about 35 real estate assets in just the past two months. Um, that's about 24 million worth of real estate assets brought uh, on chain um, in seven jurisdictions so far. Uh, so from, from Europe to Turkey, to Canada, uh, to Dubai. How we're using or the product itself of Ocean Point is a, is a Web3 um, DAP. Uh, you can see here on the left, and we're using our marketplace uh, interface to as a listing site for now. So basically assets that don't have a marketplace, they don't have anywhere to be, uh, but they have uh, been tokenized because the issuer doesn't want to run a marketplace, maybe not yet, um, they can find a place here. You will not be able to purchase tokens of those individual assets, but they're there so that the owners can start uh, staking their own tokenized real estate in Ocean Point. So the question is, why would you even consider staking, right? Um, and we see that in the world we're right now with a lot of insecurities, any extra income is kind of uh, welcome, I guess. Um, besides, you are earning Blockscore's token, which is designed as a governance token. Governance tokens have certain extended functionalities and this functionality is to be able to kind of govern the protocol that is being built. So Ocean Point at, at a point in time is going to be a fully decentralized DAO where the owners of the DAO are the owners and holders <clears throat> of the PST token. And besides, everybody wants to learn by doing. So I think this is kind of an important process. Like anybody here that owns a real estate asset can come to me and we can take them through the process of tokenizing with us and they'll learn something from it, if not else. So what's the upside? We don't know, obviously. The BST token might go to zero, you know, but hopefully we'll not Luna and, uh, and uh, we'll retain the price of 0 0.2 that's right now on the market 
Um, the highest, I think it was 0 0.4, but we don't really care. Um, there's going to be 500,000 PST um, starting from uh, 22nd of May flowing into Ocean Point. Um, and we have a, uh, a model where for the period of six years, rewards at that rate are flowing into Ocean Point. They're going to be split half and half, half in the governance pool where you can stake, stake BST and half in the, in the asset pool where owners of real estate can earn money with their, what they already have, real estate. Um, and if you own something right now, like a half a million worth uh, property, uh, we will tokenize 10% of it by default. And you can stake that, which would give you like a 2% uh, share in the pool and award you about 5,000 BST per month. That might be a thousand, that might be 10 bucks, it might be 10,000, I don't know. Um, we're kind of curating liquidity right now ourselves with our own funds, um, keeping it kind of on the basic level so that you know people can uh, can buy. But we're looking to partner with uh, the growth of Ocean Point with Web3 investors, larger liquidity providers that want to engage in this. So how to stake? First, we take you through the tokenization process. Don't worry, we do it all for you. We'll just need to um, sign a uh, uh, legal part uh, of the component. We're going to go through everything with you, but it has uh, uh, three steps in it. So, you know, we first do the first part, which is the smart contract issuance um, and the filling up of the basic information on the asset. With Before that, we do some due diligence. Right now, we're doing that due diligence ourselves and through our partners, um, but in time, the only onboarding process is going to be through, through our certified partners and not us directly. Hey, uh, Dennis, excuse me, one minute left. One minute. Sure. Thank you. <clears throat> so the deal here for staking is you commit your real estate asset for six months, you earn some BST on the side, and after six months, you can withdraw that, um, and then it goes into a vesting contract, and you can slowly uh, take it to the market if you wanted to. Um, I'm at the end anyway. This is our team. I'm proud to have onboarded this month uh, Makram Hani as our uh, chief operating officer and Julia Buchholz as our chief marketing officer um, uh, and um, kind of bring up the, uh, the quality of our team and also our reach in different markets. Um, Julia and Makram, uh, I, I was working with them even before, but on, in a different capacity. So this is like a boost uh, to our team. I'm proud of as well of our mentors and advisors uh, who always provide uh, valuable input from different fields. So thank you, Joe, Ahim, uh, Michelle, uh, Andre, and, and Walter, many of those of, of who are also in Fibre. And I'll leave this with a final thought uh, for everybody. And thank you. Thank you for listening.